the economic outlook for this year and next year is actually particularly uncertain, and it's due to two different factors. One is that there is an impact from a slowdown in growth from China in particular, but also emerging economies. They've been powering ahead for the last decade, helping to buttress the global economy as the US and Europe underwent various financial crises. But they're now slowing, of course, and that's going to be a drag on global growth. The second big source of uncertainty is actually the interest rates. Now, interest rates in the United States and in the UK have been a historic low since the 2009 recession that followed the banking crisis. That is now coming on to seven years. And there's an expectation we will have an interest rate rise moving off of 0%, which is, of course, not a normal rate, mo moving towards a more normalized monetary policy in America. And that always creates uncertainty, both in terms of timing, but also in terms of what higher borrowing costs will mean for businesses, for individuals. So I think these two major factors have made the economic outlook look particularly uncertain. And the thinking about different factors that play into that. One is, of course, commodity prices. A second one is uh, capital goods exporters, such as from Germany, from European countries to China to emerging markets. And also a third one, which I think probably is worth mentioning, is because of the extraordinary growth of emerging markets over the past decade, we've had hundreds of millions of people join the global middle class. So that means multinational companies are also issuing profit warnings. For instance, the world's most valuable company, Apple, European companies like BMW, Burberry, they're all concerned about the Chinese slowdown because their revenues are also increasingly coming from China and emerging markets. So whether or not China can manage a smooth transition to a slower growth rate, whether or not the Federal Reserve can normalize interest rates while the European Central Bank is still injecting cash through quantitative easing, as is the Bank of Japan, if all of that can happen in a smooth way, then I think our worries would be unfounded. But chances are we're going to be in for some volatility and quite a bumpy ride as the global context eventually settles down to a point where we see emerging markets grow at a more sustainable pace and we see interest rates begin to go back to normal. But that's not going to happen in the next few months. And I think that's why over the next year, the global economy is going to be uh, interesting to watch um, and likely to be rather volatile. But I hasten to add, it should be a temporary phenomenon. We should get there, as they say, in the end.